welcome back to my channel. My name's Sarah and this is Like So Amazing and today I've got a special video where I'm going to talk to you about the fun I got up to last weekend at the sewing weekender in Cambridge. Firstly I'm going to introduce Jasmine. She's been requested. <laughs> Here she is. Um, apparently a few of you like to see her in my videos. Here's her sweet little face. I think she's a little bit partied out from celebrating International Cat Day yesterday. Um, so she probably needs to go and have a little sleep. Um, but I'm going to pop her out of the room now so she doesn't make too much noise. Anyway, that's Jasmine gone. Firstly, I should tell you what I'm wearing. It's the Tilly and the Buttons Rosa shirt dress. And I've made it out of this Robert Kaufman chambray, which actually I've got the reverse of it on the yoke. I don't know if you can see that with the dots. It's got that lovely pointed yoke at the back. Anyway, so yeah, as I said, what I'm going to talk to you about is my fun at the Sewing Weekender. If you haven't heard of it before, it's organised by Kate and Rachel from The Fold Line and Charlotte from English Girl at Home. And it's a chance for like-minded sewers to get together and chat about sewing, do some sewing and have some talks and workshops and that sort of thing. So it was two days away in Cambridge. Um, I went with a few friends, so I went with um, Jill and Jade. So we drove down together, um, which was lovely. I mean, it was a five or six hour journey. It ended up being in the car, but you know, lots of chatting about sewing and cats as usual. So the time went pretty quickly. Um, so we went up on the Friday and we met up with some girls um, that we kind of knew, mostly internet friends, but you know, we all became proper friends in real life. So we met up with Elle from Sew Positivity, Rachel um, from Rach, Rach Wayne, um, and Jodie, um, Buttons and Pearls, I think her Instagram is, um, but I'll link everyone below. Um, and Jen from Ginger Thread Girl, uh, I think that was everyone who met up on the Friday. And we went fabric shopping in Backstitch, which is just outside of Cambridge which was really, really lovely. And then we went and had some tea and cake. So in Backstitch, um, there were some really, really beautiful fabrics, uh, but I was quite reserved actually. I, uh, there were a few things I could have bought, but actually I went for a really sensible choice, which I'm not sure if I was depressed about or quite impressed with, but I went with this, it's, it's a cotton fabric and I don't know if you can see, it's slightly textured. It's just got a slight white or lighter gray running through it. It's really, really soft. And I'm gonna make the Pauline Alice sorrel trousers out of that. So yeah, fairly sensible choice. And I also bought the um, sorrel pattern as well. So I've got all that ready to make and probably might settle down and do that this weekend. Cause I really feel like I need some work trousers for when it gets a bit cooler. So that was my purchase from Friday. I also treated myself to um, some Merchant Mills pins and some needles and things like that. So Friday night we just went out for pizza and had a lovely chat and then Saturday morning arrived and we headed down to the university. So we arrived at 10 o'clock and started meeting people and it was really lovely because a lot of us have already followed each other on Instagram, you know, had some contact, but it was really lovely to meet people in real life because you really get to know them. So the people I was sitting with uh, were Steph from Steph Makes, Jen from Ginger Thread Girl, Jill and Jade, Megan from Pigeon Wishes, there was also Sandy was there and Emily from Self Assembly Required. Um, so yeah, nice, really nice group of girls on our bit of the table. I hope I haven't missed anyone out. So we just spent the um, Saturday morning sewing and chatting. We then headed out for some lunch, which was absolutely disastrous because the rain just poured, poured, poured down. We got thoroughly soaked. But anyway, we came back and there were a couple of talks. Portia Lowry from The Makery gave us a talk on this year's Refashionist project, which was really interesting. And Fiona Parker gave us a talk on her role as a costume supervisor for, um, and she just plays, I think she does a little bit of TV work as well. It sounds really, really fascinating. I definitely want her job. Yeah, so we had good talks from them and then there were some workshops in the afternoon. So Elisa Lex from by Hand London was doing a hand embroidery workshop, which was really interesting. So I've just started to get into it. So I took along a pocket from some ginger jeans and started on that. I haven't actually finished yet. I kind of thought I could just finish it off at home. So I will get that done and I'll get it reattached back to the jeans and then I'll show you that um, probably at the end of this month. And also the lovely Elle from Sew Positivity, who is literally one of my favorite people. She was doing a machine embroidery 
workshop so everybody got to embroider their own badges from the weekend so it kind of felt like we were in the brownies or the guides and um, so this was the one that I chose so hopefully you can see that okay so mine's a sort of vintage sewing machine so yeah really really happy with those I'm not sure what I'm going to attach it to yet probably a bag or something like that and then we had more sewing time and then we went out for a lovely dinner um, to this amazing restaurant that actually managed to cater for all 60 of us so that was great so the next morning was more sewing and then there was a couple of other talks so there was a talk from Melissa from Fair Trade and she spoke about active wear because she's got a line of active wear patterns and she's got a book coming out soon and she talked about the way we move in garments and how we need to not just think about the size we need them but we also need to think about the movements we do the kind of temperatures and your kind of external environment and all of that sort of thing it was really quite fascinating and then we had a talk from Eleanor from Randomly Happy and her talk was about kind of sewing and being present and mindfulness and kind of not putting pressure on yourself to, to do anything when you're sewing just to kind of do it because it makes you happy and also to remember to breathe while you're sewing which was definitely a key point point. and so then we just had a little bit more time to sew so I had chosen to take along quite a simple project one that I'd made a few times before just so I didn't have to really really concentrate because I actually wanted to make the most out of meeting people and chatting and um, so I made a Tilly and the Buttons Cleo dungaree dress and I made it out of this lovely Miss Matatabi fabric I'm going to show you properly what it looks like in my monthly makes video but I'm just gonna show you Barry the Flamingo as named by Jen from Ginger Thread Girl um, absolutely love him um, it's got really cute details on the inside but I'll show you it properly in another video but yeah I managed to get that finished so that was good and another great thing that happened over the weekend is we had a big pattern and fabric swap so um, I'll show you the bits that I got so firstly was this lovely I think it's a viscose jersey really lovely colours and I thought it'd be really lovely for the autumn so I'm going to make an agnes top out of that there's probably a good 80 centimetres or so there's definitely enough for me to make an agnes from so that'd be good and then I found a small amount of this fabric with all these different colour stripes which I thought was lovely it's really silky um, I think it's probably a peach skin or something like that and I thought to myself, I can probably, it's fairly long, I can probably get um, a True Bias Ogden Cami out of this. Should be able to do it if, you know, I might be able to get the facings out of something else. But then when I looked, I found another piece. So they're quite narrow, but I thought, yeah, well, we can definitely, that's actually doubled, so it's not too bad. But I thought, yeah, definitely get one of those. And I found another piece, and actually four pieces in the end, and a sort of lining that's, a similar colour. This piece was gifted to me from lovely Vicky from So V, who is one of my favourite people and it turns out we're the same size so we can swap clothes and I can wear all of her pretty dresses. So this has got kind of a border print. I think it's it's probably just a polyester um, but I thought it might make a lovely skirt. And the last piece that I got from the swap was this stretch crepe really unusual pattern not sure what I'm going to make out of it it's got that's about two meters of it here so you definitely make a dress though I just need to decide what I'm going to make and then on to the good stuff the goodie bags so when we arrived in the room there were some huge goodie bags on everyone's tables so thanks to all the amazing sponsors who helped with those so Adam Ross Fabrics and um, Stoff and Steel, Tilling the Buttons, Janome the list goes on and on and on and if you look on the fold lines website um they list all of the sponsors on there i'll give a little link to that below so probably my favorite thing that i got was this viscose from stoff and steel i don't know if you can see the red running through it as well so it's sort of bird fabric well i think it's birds not quite 100 percent sure but anyway really really lovely and there's a good meter of that so i'm not sure what i'm going to make with it yet probably a top yeah, really looking forward to working with that. It feels really lovely quality. If I show you the bag, this is the amount of stuff I came home with after kind of decanting it all into one bag. So we all got um, some sort of remnants from Adam Ross fabric. Got this tartan and then a few kind of 
plain viscoses and just a couple of other bits and bobs. Came away with quite a lot of thread. So there was um, some metal thread there and um, a fabric guide. Get an issue of Simply Sewing magazine. More threads, elastic, um, tape measure, little sewing kits, all sorts of bits and bobs, some more thread. This is 100% recycled thread from Gutterman, which sounds really interesting. Really lovely goodie bags from the fold line themselves, so they uh, designed these. More thread, um, pens, pins, all sorts of bits and bobs. So yeah. <laughs> worth it for the goodie bag alone. I think they were worth about £80 or something like that, I heard. It's only more than the sewing and the goodie bag. Managed to meet loads of lovely people. Kate and Rachel from the Fold Line were just as lovely as I thought they were going to be. Charlotte from English Girl at Home, I'd met her before at the Dressmakers Ball and she's just adorable. So who else did I meet? Harriet from Hobbling Handmade, who is just the sweetest girl in the world and you want to put her in your pocket. Who else hadn't I met before? So Rachel, um, Rachel Wayne, um, we've been chatting on Instagram for a little while now. We bonded over cats and um, it was so lovely to meet her in real life. Um, going from someone I had never actually met before to at the end of the weekend, we were, you know, hugging and saying we loved each other. And, you know, it was just lovely, just really, really lovely. Um, couldn't have asked for a better weekend, really. So we'll definitely, definitely try and get a ticket again next year if I'm lucky enough to do so. So we've actually got some plans to meet up quite soon as well. So we've got the knitting stitching show coming up, we've got Handmade Fair, we've got um, the Great British Sewing Bee Live. So there's actually quite a few events coming up over the next couple of months. And potentially a little shopping trip to Paris to buy some fabric. So yeah, lots and lots on the radar for the next few months into winter, which I'm really excited about. Um, there's also So Brum as well, which Charlotte from English Girl at Home, she organises that. So I'll be going up there as well in September for that. It's such a positive community, which is the nicest thing about it all. So yeah, I definitely, definitely go back again next year. If you've got any questions at all, ask me in the comments below. But yeah, I'll be sharing my latest makes video at the end of this month. Haven't actually made that much so far, so I need to get sewing this weekend. So I wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who has liked and commented on my previous videos. It really does mean a lot to me, and it's lovely to kind of get to interact, engage with you. So yeah, thank you for that, and do keep the comments coming. Uh, it's always nice to chat to you. So yeah, I'm going to leave you there. Sorry if this was a bit of a rambly video, uh, but I just thought you'd like to know what we got up to. And I'll see you very soon. Thanks so much. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.